ओके हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू पी एन नेटवर्किंग गैस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट आस्क सिनारियो बेस्ट नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस सिनारियो दैट यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव वन राउटर राउटर वन एंड दिस राउटर इज कनेक्टेड विथ वन सर्वर हुज आई पी एड्रेस इज टेन डॉट वन डॉट टू डॉट वन स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर टेन डॉट वन डॉट टू डॉट वन स्लैश ट्वेंटी फोर एंड गेट वे इज टेन डॉट वन डॉट टू डॉट टेन दैट मीन्स दिस इज आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ दिस इंटरफेस राइट ऑन दिस इंटरफेस आई एम रनिंग दिस आई पी एड्रेस लेट मी शो यू द आई पी कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ दिस राउटर बट बिफोर दैट एंड ऑन दिस इंटरफेस आई एम रनिंग आई पी टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट टेन ओके हियर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी डिफॉल्ट गेट वे इज सेम बट प्रॉब्लम इज दीज टू गाइज आर नॉट टेक्निकल गाइज दीज आर नॉन टेक्निकल गाइड guys that means they don't know how to configure ip address on pc and network engineer have configure wrong submit mask here you can see submit mask is slash 8 means 255.0.0.0 and here submit mask is slash 24 so here also on pc 2 also engineer need to configure slash 24 but by mistake engineer have configure slash 8 and as you know these are non non technical guys so these guys cannot configure ip address okay and as a network engineer you have access of your router so you can see this is your console computer so you can take console of this router through this pc now you need to troubleshoot you need to fix this problem that problem is machine one pc one is able to access this server but pc two is not able to access this server so before configuring anything on this machine we are not allowed to change ip address on machine because <clears throat> you don't have access of these two pc and these are non technical guys they cannot configure ip address you have access of your router only okay so you can modify configuration of router one so by modifying configuration of router one you need to make communication possible between computer two and this server also first of all let me show you ip so let me show you ip configuration on router 1 on router 1 you can see so ip interface brief exclude unassigned so here you can see on f0/0 i am running this ip address which is a default gateway for my lan user this is ip address of my server interface interface of router which is connected to server and this interface is connected to my console pc this is for console access right so this is ip configuration of this router let me show you configuration of pc so here on pc1 so ip you can see ip address of this machine is 10.1.1/24 and gateway is 10.1.1.10 and this machine is able to access the server 10.1.2.1 you can see i am able to ping server ip address but pc2 this is pc2 here also you can check ip so ip here you can see ip is 10.1.1.10 gateway and ip address of this machine is 10.1.1.2/8 and this machine is not able to ping 10.1.2. one server this machine is not able to ping server so as you know you are not allowed to change configuration of this to pc okay but you can modify configuration of router 1 so by modifying configuration of router 1 you need to make this pc able to ping this server okay so this is question so interviewer will ask you question like this two pcs are connected through one switch and switch is connected to router router is connected to one server through other interface out of these two pc on one pc engineer have configure wrong subnet mask engineer have configure wrong subnet mask and you are not able to modify the configuration of pc you are not able to modify ip configuration on pc so by modifying configuration of router 1 can you make communication possible between pc2 to server so guys yes it is possible right we can make make communication possible between pc2 and server by modifying configuration of router 1 so what we need to configure here as you know 
first of all understand why pc2 is not able to ping this server okay so there is one concept in technology that is proxy arp so proxy arp is an um, feature or method which is used to avoid miss submit mask configuration wrong submit mask configuration so actually what is happening if i am pinging this server 10.1.2.1 from this pc this pc will identify that my destination belongs to different network because network id of this pc is 10.1.1.0 here you can see value slash value is 24 and destination network id will be 10.1.2.1 right so 2.0 sorry this, this is network ID of destination device. So you can see both network ID is different. So whenever this machine need to resolve ARP, this machine will generate ARP for their default gateway because whenever destination belongs to different network, machine will generate ARP for uh, uh, their default gateway, machine will generate ARP for their default gateway. So this machine will generate ARP for 10.1.1.10, which is running on this interface on this interface on f0 slash 0 but when this machine will generate ARP you can see according to this machine network ID of this machine is 10.0.0.0 because here you can see slash value is 8 destination network is also 10.0.0.0 so according to PCT2 both network belongs to same network so when this machine need to resolve MAC address so it will not resolve MAC address of their default gateway because according to machine 2 destination belongs to same network so it will generate ARP directly for 10.1.2.1 because this machine will think that destination belongs to my network so if this machine will generate ARP for this IP address directly and as you know ARP is a broadcast packet where target IP address will be this one right and router will receive ARP request on this interface but router now is not giving reply that's why this machine is not able to resolve ARP and this is the reason why PC2 is not able to access server you can see here what you can run so ARP you can see here ARP and table is empty so why this machine is not giving their own MAC address instead of MAC address of this server because maybe proxy ARP is disabled on this interface right so proxy ARP is what if we will configure pro proxy ARP on this interface and then when this machine will generate ARP request for this destination that router will share their own MAC address right instead of the MAC address of this server right so now I think MAC uh, proxy ARP is disabled on this router that's why PC2 is not able to access server here let me show you so IP interface F0 slash 0 here you can say proxy ARP is disabled okay so this is your answer so whenever network engineer will configure wrong subnet mask that time we need to enable proxy ARP on router interfaces so let me go to f0 slash 0 and say IP proxy ARP okay and now if you will ping from machine 2 let me show you the ARP table okay so see now PC2 is able to access server and if you now if you will check ARP table you can see ARP table this is MAC address of server but this is the MAC address of router interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 that's all for today guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel. This is one of the scenario-based network engineer interview questions.